Well, hi everybody. Welcome back. Do you know in today's video, I find this airplane flying around this globe? And the reason I picked this up, because I figured that this would look great on a pilot's desk or on the desk of somebody who just likes to make black globes. You never know. Well, I also got a whole bunch of other stuff. So why don't you come inside the video and I'll show you those things too. Some of them are pretty cool. Well, good morning, everyone. I see we're all here. The subscribers up here in the front and the non-subscribers in the back. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get thrifting because I find some really interesting stuff that I'm dying to show you. Okay, let's go. When I got to this store, I came right over to this row because I saw this really neat Santa and Mrs. Santa light-up Christmas ornament. They were asking only $1.99 for it. And online they go for around $20. As I continued down the aisle, I saw another Christmas ornament. It was made by Hallmark. It was Phineas and Ferb. They were asking $4.99 for it, and these go for $20 online. I couldn't get away from ornaments. I saw another one. This one said New York City, Radio City Music Hall. They were asking only $1.99 for it. It was really well made, and this was going for $20. I walked over to this part of the store because I saw those paddles. Well, it turned out that they were pickleball paddles. Now, pickleball is very hot right now, so I figured these would be an easy sell. They were asking $5.99 for the pair. And I'm going to ask $30 for them. Well, I continued to walk around the store, but I couldn't find anything I could make a profit on. So I think it's time to leave. Okay, guys, I'll meet you out in the car and we'll head to the next store. Well, guys, it's time to be heading to the second store of the day. But before we go, I got to tell you something. I got two complaints, two complaints yesterday. And they were pretty upsetting. Well, two of my subscribers, you know, the people who were supposed to be up in the front seat, got in the back seat by mistake and were sitting with the non-subscribers. Well, if you've watched my videos, you know how scary it is back there. I mean, it's so scary, I don't even go back there anymore. Well, I don't want that to happen again because subscribers deserve better. So what I'm going to do is when we get to a Goodwill, I'm going to put out some signs, one on this door and one on that door. And that should help, you know, the people not be so scared and know where to go. So here's the signs I'm going to put up. Well, I think that's a pretty smart thing to do. And that should stop the subscribers from getting in the back seat anymore. Okay, I thought it was a good idea too. But for now, let's get into that second store and see what I found there. On this aisle... I saw something I'd never seen before. It was a talking Jesus doll. I didn't know they made these. They were asking fourteen ninety nine for him. Online he goes for fifty dollars. So I took Jesus home with me. I got that talking Jesus figure home and I put it on eBay for thirty five ninety five plus ten ninety five shipping. Well it sold within a couple hours which made me realize that I obviously listed it a little too cheap. And remember, I paid $14.99 for it. So I didn't make a ton of money on it, but I definitely made some money on it. And if I see them out there again, I'll pick them up and I'll ask a little bit more for them next time. Okay, now back to the video. I walked around the corner so I could continue my search on this aisle, where I saw this airplane sitting on top of a globe. I figured this would make a really nice desktop display. Goodwill was asking $6.99 for it, and I thought that was a fair price. So I took this home. I'm going to ask $30 for it. When I got to this row, I knew pretty fast that I wasn't going to find anything, because there's nothing here that was interesting me at all. 
So I just decided to go around the corner and head to another aisle. I sauntered on over to their Christmas display, where up on that top shelf, I saw this Santa's Workshop Nutcracker. Well, it was made by the Bombay Company, and they don't sell anything cheap. Goodwill wanted $9.99 for it, and online these go for around $40. So I wanted this. Well, up there on my right, I saw this box. Well, it turned out that it was four wine glasses. They were made by this company, Spode. Now, Spode makes high-quality merchandise. So even though Goodwill wanted $7.99 for them, I still thought I could make money on them. So I put them in my cart. Well, not many people could say they found Jesus while shopping at Goodwill. But I can. Well, actually, I found him a long time ago. But that's a personal thing. Okay, guys, I'll meet you out in the car, and we'll head to the last store of the day. Okay, guys, it's time to be heading to the third store of the day. But I want to tell you that the signs seem to be working. Yeah, all the subscribers are up here in the front, and all the non-subscribers are back there. So it was a pretty good idea to put signs up. Okay, let's get heading to that third store and see what exciting stuff I found there. This was around the third row I had walked down at this store, and I wasn't finding anything. And then I saw this Florida Seminole football neon light. Yeah, it was shaped like a football helmet. They were asking $4.99 for it. And this has to go for around $25. I'm pretty sure of that. That football light had two things going for it. The first was that it was sports-related. And everybody knows that sports-related items sell really well online. The second thing it had going for it is that it was neon. And neon sells really well online. So if you put the two together, you have an item that should sell pretty fast. Well, mine did. It sold on Facebook Marketplace for $25 plus $9.95 shipping. So I was really happy with that. And if I see more neon out there, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, even if it's not sports related, I'm definitely going to look it up because it's a good seller by itself. Okay, now back to the video. This aisle was packed with stuff. That's why I wanted to take my time walking down it. I saw this Disney Mickey Mouse pin. It said Happy Haunted 5K Trail Run on it. It was from 2012. They were asking $3.99 for it. And online they go for $20. On this row, I found seven Xbox games. Now you guys know, I don't look for Xbox games. Xbox games find me. Well, I passed on these four, but I did end up taking these three. It was Lego Lord of the Rings, Forza Motorsport 3, and the last one was DuckTales. Now, they only go for 10 or $12, but at this store, they're only charging $1.98 per game. I saw this Pokemon plush. His name was Yamper. They were asking $3.99 for him. Online they go for 15 and I figured it would be a pretty fast sell, so I wanted them. I saw this sleeping monster, so I went over to him pretty cautiously. Turned out his name was King Koopa. He was $4.99. Oh look, I woke him up. He's not too happy, is he? Well, he goes for 25 online, so I still took him. Look at King Koopa. He's still mad at me for waking him up. Hey, forgive and forget, buddy. I saw this ashtray. It was made of brass. They were asking $6.99 for it. Now, I was going to leave it, but it turns out online these go for $30. Oh, look, King Koopa's asleep again, so everybody keep really quiet. You know what? I'm just going to go pay for this stuff and meet you guys out in the car, because before... Off camera, he got really crazy. Okay, everybody. Well, that's it. There is no more. But I'll be back next week with another exciting adventure. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, guys.